Hi guys, I'm Manisha. I am a fashion designer by education and also a yoga instructor by education. I have my yoga studios in South Delhi by the name of the Yoga Chakra. I like to blend my um, creativity in my asanas as well in my practice. So I've kind of formed something like a flow sequence for you guys today. This is called the Vinyasa flow. This flow is just to release all parts of your body, just to, to move from one asana to another, to release the shoulders, the tightness in your back, while you sit down and work from home all the time, or you're sitting on any kind of desk, chair, or watching TV. So it doesn't matter, all of us sit. We are all conscious of sitting down, sitting down culture that has been around for so long. So let's get together on the mat and try and release and wring those muscles out. See you there. Let's start our sequence. As we said, this is to release all the tension in your body. We'll do a vinyasa flow to get rid of all that stress we build up in our spine, in our arms, and expanding and working on the mouse and the keyboard, or just curving the back like this and sitting the whole day. So let's start the sequence. Let's take a few deep inhales and exhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's start with a gentle twist. Your right hand goes over the left knee. Take the opposite hand back and twist open, opening to the sides. And he'll come back to the other side, twist. Coming back, both the hands together, push the palms out, really curve your back, pushing your shoulder blades away from each other like the cat and the cow that we do. Inhale and lift up, both the hands slightly behind. Inhale and exhale, breathe, breathe. Slowly twisting and opening up the sides. And to the other side. Inhale, coming back to the center. Let's, I'm gonna face this side, come into the tabletop position. Both the hands right under the armpits, both the knees right under your hips. Make sure the gap between the hands is adequate and equal to your shoulders. Inhale, tailbone up, look up. Exhale, tailbone in, chin to the throat. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, coming back to the center. Take the right hand and grab hold of the opposite leg, opening up into the tiger pose. Deep inhale and exhale here, opening up your side body, your thighs, and coming back. Inhale, taking the opposite side, left leg and right hand, reach out. Open up the body, balance through the hand on the floor. Deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, release it. Take the hands forward. Let's drop down into the puppy pose. Inhale and exhale, stay here. Inhale, dropping your forearms still on the floor. Placing the palms down firmly, tuck your toes, lift up into the dolphin. From these are the muscles on your shoulders, which are super tight usually. I also call them the hand back shoulder muscles. The ones that help you carry all the shopping bags. See if you can press down into the dolphin. Inhale and exhale, stay here. Inhale, slowly lifting up, walking the hands back into the downward facing dog. Press the heels down, press the palms away into the floor. Inhale, look in front, 
walk forward into a flat back. Exhale, bend your knees, drop the chest to the knees, interlock your arms, and stay here. Really letting go of your head, letting go of your back. We're working with gravity here to expand our spine. We work against it while we're sitting, compressing the spine. Now we just walk to open up the spine. Inhale, place the hands down on the floor. Open the legs slightly wider. And once again, drop down. Interlock. See if you feel that cut, 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 cut in your spine. That means it's releasing. Make sure your neck is completely relaxed and your head is down, opening up all the muscles. Inhale, place the hands to the floor. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale to a forward fold. Deep inhale, taking both the hands up and back to the center. Let's start at the top of the mat. Both the feet are together. We'll make a vinyasa, take both the hands up. No back bend, looking up towards the thumbs. You'll take the hands out like an eagle and you'll scoop down, head to the knee. Inhale into a halfway or the flat back. Exhale, bend your knees and jump into a plank pose. Plank pose, your body in a straight line, head to toe. Inhale, as you exhale, go into Chaturanga. Inhale, lift up into upward facing dog. Exhale, come into the downward facing dog. Once again, pressing the heels down. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open it up really wide. Inhale, taking the same leg out to the front, reach out with the hat. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, coming back in, take the leg back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up into the three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open it up. Knee pointing up towards the ceiling. Inhale, and as you exhale, take the leg out to the side and open up your body. Shoulders in one line, looking up towards the hand on the top. Inhale, slowly coming back and into the downward facing dog. Let's walk in our downward facing dog, opening up the hamstrings, opening up your legs, your back and your arms are strong, strangling the shoulders while walking on the spot. Inhale, lift the right leg, drop it forward. Slowly start lifting up with hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, open up the chest like a roaring tiger. Exhale, bring it all back in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, pushing and cracking that walnut between your shoulder blades. Exhale, coming back. Drop the back leg, pointing forward, one hand over, and stretch out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, slowly coming back. Once again, back into the crescent pose, and hands to the chest. From here, We'll take this elbow, place it outside of the knee. Exhale. Inhale and exhale, stay here. Oh, it's a yummy, yummy stretch. Opening up that body, that side body that we keep cramped up throughout the day. Inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, taking the hands down. And coming into your downward facing dog. See if you want to walk on this spot. 
Once again, opening up your legs, strengthening the spine. Inhale, lift the leg up. Exhale, place it forward. Slowly lift up into the crescent pose. The back foot is lifted, so your heel is lifted. Pointing down, grounding from your toes. Knee is right over the ankle. Put the hands to the chest. Let's do a rolling tiger pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, really squeeze the shoulder blades together and exhale. Dropping the back foot on the floor, toes pointing outwards. Inhale, take the hand down and reach out. Inhale and exhale, stay here. Really sinking down deep and coming back to the center, back to our crescent pose. From here, this elbow will go outside of the knee. Inhale, drop. Press the palms into each other and pushing your hands into each other, twisting the body. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, coming back to the center. Place the palms down. Lift up, back into downward facing dog. Inhale, walk the feet forward into a flat back. Exhale, head to the knee. Inhale, taking both the hands up over the head. Exhale, coming back to Samastiti. Let's do it one more time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale into a flat back, exhale bend your knees, jump into a plank, exhale into chaturanga, inhale into upper dog, exhale into downward facing dog, let's take a couple of deep breaths here, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, take the right leg up. Exhale, place it in front and turn towards the front. You're going to start with both the feet pointing upwards and your body in the center. Take both the hands out. Inhale, exhale, touch the outside and twist open. Back to the center, opposite side. Grab hold of outside of the ankle, twist open on towards the ceiling. Back to the center. Let's do this two more times. One. That's one, one side. Two. One side. Three. One side. Four. One side. Coming back to the center. Put the hands on your waist. Inhale, take the arms out. Exhale, interlock them behind the back. Stretch the arms back. Inhale, exhale, go down. Inhale and exhale, stay here. Inhale, slowly coming back up. Release the hands. From here, reaching out, grabbing hold of your toes. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, head to the knee. Head to the floor, sorry. Inhale and exhale, stay here. I fix my movement. Inhale and exhale, stay here. Body, you, you try to use your lower back to extend the body down instead of curving the body. So the point is not to touch the head down to the floor. The point is to find that length in the spine. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Drop the hands here. Walk the feet in. Coming into the Malasana. 
Stay here for a few counts. Decompressing your ankles here. Taking the time to stay here. Inhale and exhale. Try to see if you can place the foot down completely on the floor. This is an excellent pose if you want to release the spine. We use it all through the day. This kind of relaxes and gives a break at times out to the spine. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, place the hands down. Once again, walking out. Into a flat back. Inhale and exhale. Slowly taking both the hands out. And coming back into downward facing dog. Drop your knees here. Sit down into the child's pose. Catch your breath here. Taking this at the moment of your break. Inhaling and exhaling, deeply breathing all parts of the body. Inhale, slowly coming back up. Come up on your knees. Your knees are again shoulder width apart, feet are pointing outwards. Take, inhale, take one hand back and grab hold of your ankle. See if you can take the other hand up towards the ceiling. This is like a camel variation. So we start small and we slowly build through it. Inhale, slowly coming back to the center. Once again, inhale, take the opposite hand, grab hold of your ankle or your heel and reach up. Now from here, see if you want to reach out a little bit behind. Inhale your legs. Inhale, coming back to the center. Use the hands down. Coming into the tabletop and into the puppy pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, slowly coming back up. Placing the hands here, ducking your toes, coming back into the downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale here. Inhale. See if you want to release any muscles. Open the legs slightly wider than your mat. Place the thumb very strongly into the floor. We'll start with right hand going and grabbing your left ankle. So I like to grab it from the outside, but it's completely up to you or where you are in your practice. From here, push and it's almost like you're peeking through from under your armpit and looking up towards the ceiling. So this elbow, which is grabbing the ankle, is bent. Excellent stretch for your side body. The most neglected part, because the spine kind of is not getting a break through the day. Inhale, coming back to the center. Let's switch hands. Reach out with the other hand, grabbing hold, and right there. Inhale and exhale, staying down. Again, peeking through, looking up towards the ceiling. But listen to your body as much as your body lets you. Inhale, slowly coming back. Walk the feet back into the downward facing dog. Inhale, look in front, bend the knees, jump forward into a flat back. Exhale, head to the knee. Inhale and back to the center. We'll make one more vinyasa, come on the top of the mat. Deep in here. Exhale. Sorry about my quads. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, exhale into chaturanga. Inhale, sweep up into upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Same leg goes across. 
dropping it down, come and sit in the center into the pigeon pose. The knee is pushing down into the mat, your body in a straight line, don't sit on one side, and so sit in the center. So let's just stay here, open up the body. If you want to take the hands to the chest, please feel free. Slowly dropping the hands down, tuck the back toe, coming back into the downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the leg up. Opposite side, crossing into the pigeon pose. Hands to the chest, inhale and exhale. If you can't take hands to the chest, it's fine. You can place them down, but lift the chest up. Stay here for a few breaths. Tucking the back toe and back into the downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, look in front, cross and sit. Inhale, lift up into the half Navasana with the knees bent. Inhale and exhale, stay here. From here, take one leg up, try and straighten it out while the other knee is bent. See if you can reach that or you can use your thighs. You can place the hands on the thighs and lift it up for now. Otherwise, if you can, I would like you to flex the foot and reach up and release the other side. Taking the leg up, flexing. Inhale and exhale. And bringing the legs into a hug. Deep breaths here. Slowly crossing the feet again. And light back. Lie down on the floor. Here, we will come into the happy baby pose. Bend your knees to an angle, like we call it frog legs as well. So the knees are pointing out towards a little bit. Crab hold from the inside. Push your back into the floor. And exhale. Slowly coming back, getting the legs back in. See if you can grab hold of your toes and pulling them in towards the body. Either you stay here and if you have the flexibility and you do yoga, then take the legs back into Halasana. Make sure you breathe here because our tendency is to stop breathing. Please don't stop breathing. From here, open the legs out wide. Inhale, slowly rolling up and coming back into the sit position. I'm going to face you guys again so you can see. Both the legs are open, sitting down on both sides equally. Take both the hands up, stretch out first. Inhale, face towards one side. Exhale, dropping down. See if you can grab your toes or you can place your hands here. The idea is not to touch the head to the knee. The idea is to open up the spine. Whatever works with your body. Inhale up, coming back to the center. Again, extending out and exhale to the other side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, coming back up. Placing the hands behind you, roll the shoulder blades back and stretch the body. Inhale, we reach out to the front. Once again, wherever your body lets you, just stay down there. If you can't completely go down to the floor, you can stay here or you can stay here. But if you can, please feel free to go down all the way. The idea is to use your back more than the upper back. The lower back is what we use. Your thighs will get stretched here. Also your hip flexors will support you throughout the day. 
Inhale, walk your back in. Slowly getting the legs back in and hug your knees. You've done so well throughout this time. I want to, to pat yourself. So hug yourself really, really tight here. Inhale and exhale. Slowly release. Place one knee down, opposite knee on top of this. Sitting down right in the center. We'll take the left hand, place it into the center back. We'll take the right hand, interlock the fingers at the back and press your head into the bent elbow. This stretches and opens up all the body from your thighs to your legs, even to a certain degree in your knees and of course your biceps, your triceps and your spine. Inhale, leave it out. I'm going to face behind so that you can see for the other side. We'll switch the legs. The opposite leg goes down and switch. Sitting down in the front. This time we start with the right hand. Place the right hand in the center back. With the left hand, grab hold of the fingers. And then press your head into the bent elbow. Inhale in and exhale. Slowly release, coming back to face you. Sit in Sukhasana. Both the feet are casual. Forearm down on the floor, lift to the side, opening up the side body. Exhale, slowly taking it down and to the other side. Let's do this one more time. Again, dropping down really slow, trying to touch the floor. And to the other side. Coming back to the center. Place the right hand on top of your chest, the left hand on your belly. Inhale, expand the belly like a balloon, and then expand the chest. Exhale, collapse the chest first, and then the belly. Let's try again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Bring both the hands together. We'll end the session with an OM. Deep inhale. OM. Keep your eyes closed. Feel your whole body energized, ready to take on the day. More of a relaxation. Deep breaths and slowly open your eyes. Thank you guys for joining me. It is amazing to practice with you all. I am so thankful that you can join me to practice on the mat. I hope you find it useful and are able to use it every day. Namaskar.